Hey there! In this video, we are going to understand the identity matrix, which is one of the most fundamental concepts in linear algebra and machine learning. Think of the identity matrix as the do nothing matrix. So, just like multiplying any number by 1 gives us you the same number back, multiplying any matrix by the identity matrix gives you the same matrix back. This is why you call it the multiplicative identity for matrices. So what exactly is an identity matrix? It's a square matrix with ones on the mine diagonal and zeros everywhere. We typically denote it as I subscript N or simply I, where N indicates the dimension of the matrix. Now let's look at some concrete examples. The 2x2 identity matrix has 1 in the top left, 0 in the top right, 0 in the bottom left, and 1 in the bottom right. The 3x3 identity has 1s at positions 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2, with zeros everywhere else. You can see this pattern continues no matter the size of the identity matrix we are working with, whether it's 4x4 or larger. The fundamental property of the identity matrix is that it preserves any matrix during multiplication. That is, i times a equals a, and i times a also equals a, for any matrix a, as long as the dimensions match properly. This property is what makes the identity matrix so special and so useful. From a geometric perspective, matrices represent transformations of vector in space. When we multiply a vector by the identity matrix, the vector stays in exactly the same position. It doesn't rotate, it doesn't scale, it doesn't shear, it simply remains where it was. This is the geometric interpretation of why the identity is the do-nothing transformation. The identity matrix also plays a crucial role in understanding matrix inverses. The inverse of a matrix A denoted A inverse, is defined as the matrix that satisfies A times A inverse equals I, and also A inverse times A equals I. For example, if A is a diagonal matrix with 2 and 3 on the diagonal, then A inverse has 1 half and 1 third on the diagonal, and their product gives us the identity matrix. This relationship is foundational for solving systems of linear equations and for many other applications. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.